Hello everyone and welcome to the Door to Door YouTube channel. Today I want to talk a little bit about the MyQ uh, phone app. So MyQ is how you can attach your LiftMaster, Chamberlain, and some Craftsman units, um, pretty much anything under that Chamberlain umbrella to your phone. So you can open and close the door from your phone anywhere in the world, as well as get almost like a text alert anytime the door does open or close. So you know, you know, you can kind of see who's coming in and out of your home. So it's a pretty cool little feature that a lot of people enjoy. and. Uh, the MyQ is now built into all of uh, the LiftMaster brand openers. Uh, so if you do have a LiftMaster brand opener within the last few years, MyQ should be built in and you can download it to, again, monitor and work the door from your phone. So it can be a little tricky to set up. As I'm doing this, this is fall of 2024. So the app does change uh, periodically, but most of what I'm doing today should translate. Um, you know, if you're doing this later, I mean, a couple of years later, then you might see that there's been quite a few version changes. But for the most part, this should at least get you there. And then if you have trouble, you can uh, call us or as well as um, reach out to LiftMaster directly if you do have any issues. Uh, a lot of times we do recommend reaching out to LiftMaster or Chamberlain directly just because they're able to kind of sign in and really look at your account and uh, see if there is a connection issue, exactly what it is, where you know, other than setting it up and doing all the normal things that you can do on the phone, we have to call as well if there is an issue that for whatever reason is just not connecting. But let's get into it and show you exactly how to set it up uh, starting from the beginning. So first you're gonna go into the App Store, search My Q, look for the blue app. You're gonna download the My Q app first. Open it up. Give it permission to talk to Bluetooth, send you notifications. You can read the privacy statement. Next, you're gonna to need to register. I always like to continue with email and follow the instructions. Enter your zip code, your name, your email address that you want associated with your MyQ account. And make a password. Next, you're gonna verify your email. So go back to your email and check for the six digit code. Once your email is verified, now you can begin the process of setting everything up. So most likely you're gonna pick garage door opener, door opener, but you can see that you can add all the different accessories um, that you might be looking at, like a camera, video keypad, or even the, uh, the door locks. But we're gonna do a ceiling installed opener. This is checking to make sure you have Wi-Fi, you know your, your Bluetooth's enabled, you know your Wi-Fi password. Now pick your wall button. So now, when looking for the learn button on the wall button, on your standard wall button, it's gonna be right under here, if that learn button, you just push it once and you'll hear the beep. The one I'm working with right now has the one with the display. This has a few more options. This one, you're gonna go menu, down to program, then down to Wi-Fi setup. Hit the arrow, if you hear the beep, you're good. Now if you heard that beep, it'll search and find it's in Wi-Fi, it's in ready to learn mode, searching for devices. Sometimes this can take a few minutes. Now it's asking to pair up with the opener to begin the pairing process.
Now pick your Wi-Fi network and put in your password. This is where I usually have trouble. Um, if the password isn't 100% correct with capitals, everything, um, it won't work. All right, now the device should be connecting. You hear a series of beeps, and once you hear the three long beeps, you'll know that the connection took. Perfect, now you can name your garage door, either my garage door, garage door one, two, if you have multiple garage doors, or something completely different. This is to set up Amazon Key. I usually click out of this and exit um, Amazon if you would like Amazon to be able to open your garage door to put packages in, if you're worried about people taking them from your front porch, you can set that up. It's called Amazon Key, but you don't have to set that up. So here's your home screen. It'll take you through a tour on some of the different things you can do. Um, those are your settings for your device directly. You can add different users. You can discover some more things from MyQ. And then you can manage your profile from up in the top left corner. But to operate the door, you're just going to push on that big circle. The opener itself will blink and beep to let anybody in the garage know that the door is getting ready to close, since you can open and close this door from anywhere in the world. And it will continue to beep until the door comes all the way to a close. The safety eyes will still reverse the door as well as the bump stop, so if you get an area that didn't close and you're not home, that means there was a... Uh, maybe there's someone in the way or something in the way that was preventing it from closing, and unfortunately, until you get back here to... Check why the eyes are um, not working. Door's now showing it's been closed. Give it another tap, send the signal, to then raise and open the door. Let's see, it's letting you know that it's opening. So you get the little alert. Let's you know the door just opened. Also here, you can add more devices. You can share with different users. You can just send them a link to access to your MyQ account if you want to share it with a spouse or a family member. And then you can manage your account. There's all different, uh, there's lots of different options and things you can do in here. And they're adding more features every day. So check back. Um, you know, they're constantly updating and adding different features and different ways you can control and monitor your door from your phone. They also have diagnostics. If you have a issue with the garage door opener, it can give you some insight on what that might be. And that's basically it. That is how you set up MyQ on your mobile device. Um, sometimes it's a little tricky. Sometimes you might get some errors. Usually it can, uh, can detect what the error is and let you know right through the app. But if you do have to call the 1-800 number and see what the connection error might be, um, you know, feel free to do that or give us a call and we might be able to help you through it. Big thing is the Wi-Fi password. Usually when I can't get it to work, it's because um, customers tell me the wrong Wi-Fi password. So make sure you have it. Capitals matter. Um, but other than that, you should be good to go. Any issues though, always feel free to give us a call, give LiftMaster a call, especially if you're in the uh, you know, North Jersey area, we'd love to help you out. We, with, here at Door to Door, we want you to love your garage door and we hope to see you in the next one. Okay, thanks, bye.